Let's do an example with a leading zero in there. 0 0.025 times 3. So let's line it up like this. And recall that this zero here is just to highlight the decimal. While this zero is our leading zero. Let's work through this and see how they're both dealt with. We only have the three on the bottom, so we'll work our way through by multiplying three by each digit in the top number. Three times five equals 15. Mark down the five and we'll carry the one. Next, three times two equals six, but we have to add the carried one to get seven. Next, three times zero, well, that just equals zero. And we can see that this calculation wasn't really needed, as adding a zero here is meaningless. So we know we can stop there. Now, to finish this question up, we need to determine where to put the decimal. So let's count the total number of decimals involved in the numbers that we're multiplying. There are three decimals in the first number, and there are no decimals in the second number. So we have three plus zero equals three. So we need three decimals in our answer. Counting out the decimal places, one, two, and three. In our last jump, we have to put a placeholder zero in there. And we can add a zero at the beginning to ensure the decimal is noticed. And so our final answer is 0 0.075.